you might not like the music video, you might not like the song, whatever, but you can't hate on how much work went into it. And I kind of think that's a good analogy for Russ's career. The kid released 11 albums without getting a single view and didn't lose enthusiasm. I mean, now you can't really tell him anything. <laughs> So the story of the video is kind of showing the process of you following something you love and the different ups and downs that you go through. This girl is kind of imaginary. It's just a metaphor for whatever it is you want and for Russ, it's music. The way claymation works to really speed up the process is you storyboard or you create an animatic so that you know what you're shooting. So I made this whole animatic and I drew out what was gonna happen. So that was a huge help for knowing what I wanted. In the album art for There's Really a Wolf, in the booklet, there's a clay figure of Russ's face, and it's ugly. And Russ was commented, if when you do this, could you make a better looking version of me? So I spent maybe like 10 hours staring at Russ and trying to make a hot clay version of him. He's tiny, but the cool thing is, if you see the eyebrows and the facial hair is real hair, and then you notice like the earrings and the two different color eyes. I mean, the detail in this is ridiculous. This one was green screened, right? And I hate green screen, but we only had 12 days to do this whole video. And so I had to start the animation process while I was building different sets. Do you ever see the first scene of Blade Runner? That's kind of what I was looking at for inspiration. This is kind of the most important scene of the whole video. I think the whole song sounds like falling in love. This girl I know, Kaylee, she does window displays for anthropology. I was like, I think you'd be really good at this. So she built this one and I mean, I think it's, it's all gorgeous. This dance scene, this is me dancing with the girl from Gypsy because I directed Russ's Gypsy video. That's how we met. Now this is right leg. Okay. We copied the dance moves that I actually did. So I am a dancer and a choreographer for this scene. This scene is probably the most cinematic, coolest scene. We rebuilt a new set to emulate the basement that he was when he was 17. I mean, look at the detail that goes into just like the roots and stuff of this. And then if you watch this scene where it falls through, the rug comes with it from the first floor. There's just certain details that are amazing. His whole recording studio is covered with posters from rappers and uh, from that era. J. Cole, 50 Cent. The funniest one, I think, and this is no shots fired, but it's Mike Posner. No one's saying like, Mike Posner's in my top five, but I just think it kind of shows the date. You know what I mean? It's like 2009, 2007 or whatever. Mike Posner was awesome. Ooh. So it's funny that this is the setup for this, cause this was the setup, uh, this exact overarching camera with a glass over a black uh, fabric is how I did this. There are 300 individual drawings and if you look through it, there's no looping. If you go second by second, you're seeing every little drawing, look. This one is, I think, a beautiful scene, a beautiful moment of this song where it just cuts out from claymation and you kind of relax and you take in this beautiful uh, paint, painting. This is a funny thing because this was the last thing I did to the video. There's a scene in Vertigo and it's very shitty kind of stop motion. And that was the inspiration for this scene. From this angle, you're not very sure what it is. It looks like those are stars. But if you look closely, it's Red Rocks, which was Russ's first real big show that he did, sold out 10,000 people in America. <laughs> This is a, another ridiculously intricate set. 
This is cropped right here. And if we had not cropped it, this is just the store. If you look here, this is a clay sculpture of a wolf mask. That alone <laughs> takes about 10, five hours or something. I mean, come on, that's a Wes Anderson shot. And had taken up rooms in the Grand Budapest. Baby, I'm a fool. Baby, I'm a fool for you. This is the last scene, right? It could have ended with him and a girl beautifully, but it ends with Russ in a basement making music. Because at the end of the day, if you strip away everything from Russ, this is what he would be doing. This video and song were made in the exact same basement, which is beautiful. Right as the video is ending, I play the whole thing in reverse, just to show the viewer again how much little work and detail went through. And I think for me and Russ, our collaborative process is a circular journey. It's like, he's from the basement, and then I end the scene in the basement, and it's kind of like, it just shows the process that came, that went through um, to do the whole video. I was trying to push art forward. I think that was my main goal of this video. I think this is gonna be a video that people come to and, and and bring up like, oh, we could do this kind of style. He's like, you remember when Russ and the Kid Super video? I hope it's kind of like a archive for all the different creatives. Ba -ba, ba -ba. This is the first Russ doll <laughs> that Russ didn't approve of. He said it's ugly which I don't see it, <laughs> just kidding. So then I made Hot Russ. <laughs>